Hey guys, we have a great matchup here between the LGB30 and the LG7. And let's see they stack up. Now, personally, I love the LGB30, and I think it's probably the most underrated phone of all of last year. Well, the G7, not a huge improvement, but uh, I'd say any improvement over the V30 is definitely a good thing. And surprising, the V30, first one to boot up. Alright guys, next up we have Specs. Both phones are similar size displays, although the V30 is AMOLED while the G7 is LCD. Now on the front, the cameras upgraded from 5 to 8 MP. On the back, excellent cameras on both, and some upgrades on the G7. And we'll be showing you guys comparisons later in the video. Both phones are the same storage options and also micro SD card support. The battery is actually better on the V30, and in the future, guys, we'll be having comparisons of that. But on the V30, you are upgrading from the Snapdragon 35 to the 845. Both phones are waterproof. And both phones use the Type C, and they still have headphone jacks. Alright, guys, now for the rest of the test. And zoom in the camera there a bit. So let's see if the boot up was a fluke. NBC. G7. Spotify. D30. YouTube. Whew, I think the G7 by about one millisecond. eBay. D30, iFunny, and V30. Amazon shopping. G7, photos. G7 there. Alright guys, so the base gap's pretty split, I think, um, maybe plus one for the G7, but regardless guys, excellent performance for the B30 there. Now for the gaming, this should be a bigger difference. And you guys see Temple Run 2 going to the G7. Subway Surfers. G7 Mario Run G7 but pretty close and final game but a lot of stuff after that and not surprising so the gaming 4-0 now, in mind of the guys, you see a higher score for 2 2 for the G7. So, again, Snapdragon 45 versus 835. Next up, we have Chrome. Google.com. Alright, guys, so let's go through and put the web history. And as usual, guys, we have four sites, and the first one is. IGN.com uh, Pretty close I think to G7 by 2 milliseconds there INDB.com G7 Apple.com And we have the G7 there. LG.com So yeah, pretty impressive for the G7. 
And now for comparison displays in bright sunlight. So I messed this up last time guys, but for the LG you do have a boost, if, or rather for the uh, G7 you have a boost if you press right there. So right there is 1000 nits. And let's go over to the window cell and see these in bright sunlight. And now in brighter sunlight, so the, the uh, G7 is definitely a bit brighter. And we're going to bring up Chrome. So yeah, not sure how well it's picking up on camera, but it's clearly a big difference there. Spotlight, no copyright. And let's look at the speakers are. Now the G7 speaker is supposed to be a lot louder. First up we have the V30. And G7. Oh. Guys, I don't know how this picks up on the mic, but in person, this is a huge, huge, huge difference. Um, really guys, there's no comparison. I mean with the G7, it's literally shaking the table. The bass is shaking the table for it. And last time here. Again, guys, I really don't know how all this picks up on the mic, but just in person, it's a massive, massive difference. And now for the fingerprint. And once again, the right there. So, a nice upgrade there for the G7. Alright guys, small task next, and remember both these 4GB of RAM with them. NBC. Good job there. Spotify. Advantage for the V30. YouTube. eBay. iFunny. Again, guys, pretty good job there. Amazon Shopping, once again, good job there. So, so far, not really a big difference. Uh, not a big difference between them. Subway Surfers, again, excellent job there. Mario Run, ready to play. Asphalt 8. 
So yeah, I mean, I think maybe one or two restarting, but overall, really good job here. Excellent. Camera speed next. So, pretty similar there. Maybe actually the V30 tiny bit faster. And now for test of front cameras. And test of image stabilization. And now for test of front cameras. And test of image stabilization. And looked at the rear camera. Testing stabilization. And we'll get the maximum zoom. And we'll get the wide angle camera. So the G7 is clearly an upgrade over the V30, but just not a huge difference. But guys, let me know in the comment section below what you think if it's worth upgrading or not. Uh, I would have to say, unless you're pretty rich, I'd say don't upgrade for now. Maybe wait for the V40, the G8, something like that. But yeah, guys, again, it is an upgrade. It's not a huge one. So thank you for watching. Subscribe for more. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions about them.